Hey guys, um, so if you look at my last video, you guys can probably tell I kind of have the same look and the same shirt going on. Um, it wasn't until I stopped recording the last video that I realized I had a beard bomb that I could review that would pair probably really well with the uh, country air um, scent from Daniel's Beard Co. that I previously reviewed. So. Pretty much just picked the camera right back up and uh, decided I would record another video. So we're doing two back to back here. You guys get a bonus today. Um, so what I have here, just opened it up, is I have from The Groomed Man Co. I have their Morning Wood All Purpose Beard Balm. Um, now it's uh, Yucaba Butter. I've never heard of that one, but it sounds interesting. Babiso Oil and Flora spheres. Um, so I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick this up or not. If you guys kind of look there, you'll see like these little black dots. They kind of look like those micro beads you see in some soaps. I assume that's what these flora spheres are. It says directions. No one likes a ball breaker. We'll keep this simple so we don't bust yours. Scoop out a small amount of balm, placing it in the palm of your hands, apply pressure, and massage your balls, the ones in the balm. Haha, <laughs> funny guys until they dissolve. A downwards motion, rub the balm over your beard, which will leave it with a natural style that complements its flow. The balm is to be used all over. Hashtag little balls, big ideas. Um, and then it has a list of ingredients here. I read a couple, a couple of them off to you already. There, it looks like there's jojoba in here as well. Um, sandalwood oil, patchouli oil, rosemary, pine, cedarwood. Um, you know, so, and this is about a 3.3 ounce container, 3 8 ounce container. This was a gift to me by a person that I consider a very good friend who also has a beard channel on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to try and name drop too much, so I won't say who, um, but it was a gift to somebody that I very much respect in the beard community, and he said he liked this oil, or this balm rather. So, you know, and I've used it a couple times already. I do like it. Um, and I always trust his opinion on pretty much anything regarding beards. Um, now, so obviously, you you know, kind of rubbing it in here, you look, all those black beads that were, that you kind of saw in the oil a little bit. Let's see if I can kind of get one on my finger here to show you guys. Just pick, you know, like one out of the the container. Right there on my thumbnail, you can kind of see it's like this is a little black dot, basically. Um, and with, you know, I guess like the heat and the friction and everything from your palms rubbing together, it just gets rid of it. So, it it's uh, it's what it says. It's called woodsy. Um, you definitely get a lot of that, you know, that sandalwood and that cedar and everything else that I listed is in there. Um, so, you know... If you don't like the smell of the woods, this definitely is not going to be for you. But if you're a person that likes to go hiking, likes to go camping, you know, likes to just, you know, take walks, whatever. And you like the smell of, you know, or, you know, who knows, maybe your, uh, your lady's into the whole lumberjack deal, right? She, she wants you to wear the flannel and... You know, the beard helps you be all big and burly looking, and she's got, you know, she's kind of got that lumber se lumber sexual thing going on. This would probably work really well for that, because it would make you smell like you'd been chopping wood or doing carpentry stuff all day. So, probably a good one for that as well. I would recommend this to any guy who likes to smell the woods or any lady who likes to smell the woods and wants your guy to smell like that. So, I would say, and with the Country Air one that I just used the oil from Daniel's Beard Co., it, uh, it pairs well only because the Country Air kind of, you know, had that really fresh, um, lemongrassy, um, you know, citrusy, you know, kind of florally scent. Um, you know, nothing overpowering, but something that was nice and clean and kind of almost like, you know, walking through a country field with, 
you know, an area where you're not smelling all kinds of smog and pollution, whatever. And this has the, the nice smell of like being in the woods, right? Uh, you know, so imagine now you're in this open country. If you pair these two for whatever reason, like I'm doing right now, imagine you're like walking through a nice open country field and, you know, maybe a couple hundred yards away from you, there's some nice woods. So it's nice. So, hey guys, that's the review for today. Again, if you want, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and I will see you another time. Bye guys.